Hi guys, it's Theo Mingo here, and I'm sorry about the Skellington Pants video, and if you noticed, I just got it up yesterday. It just, uh, my last week was really busy, and then I just didn't get editing done until Sunday, so, so I'm very sorry about that, and next time I will plan to edit and then tell you guys, and so that won't happen again. But let's get on to what this video is about. So this is the ultimate YouTube survey. So instead of just doing this year's survey, I decided I'd do the one from 2011 and 2012 and this year and just compile them all together and add the word ultimate at the beginning. So question number one, tell us about your first kiss. My first kiss was with this lovely fellow here. Ha. <laughs> ah. Question number two. What is the most expensive item of casual clothing you've ever bought? I think it has to be this octopus vest that I got. It cost me about $50. I just think it's really cool, so I had to get it. I also have a love of octopus I That sounds inappropriate. Let's go into the next question. Question number three. What is the first job you ever wanted as a kid? I wanted to be a veterinarian, and then I realized that animals had guts and skeletons, and that just, no, that went out. Was not gonna do with that. Question number four Tell us about your group of school friends. Uh, I think we're, we're just weird. Um, it's just, it's a good weird. I love it. Like, I love it. We're all just, I don't know. Question number five. What would you name your kid? Uh, I actually don't really think about this much because I don't, like, I'm not planning, oh, I'm gonna have a girl and a guy and, you know, I'm just gonna name them Jacobson, Lawrence, Lorenzo, and Jennifer. I don't know. Um, one name that I'm thinking about is Grace, and I know there was another name, but I cannot remember what it was. Maybe it was Lancaster, and I don't know, maybe my husband wants to name some of my children. That's, that's probably where we're going to get all the rest of the names from, because I, I literally have no clue. I'll leave that to my future self. Number six. Why are you called that? Um, the name of this channel is The Omega, and it is because of this Omega chain that I wear, and I was just thinking what could I do that wasn't The Omega, because I didn't want to sound like, uh, a snob calling myself the end because that that's what Omega kind of is so I didn't want to do that so I just kind of was like what can I do as a playoff of that and somehow I got with oh the Omega I'm just weird question number seven yeah totally can count what was your favorite school teacher my favorite school teacher was this teacher named Mr. Lily and he taught chemistry. He made the class like really interesting for me but as well as his last name was my last name and his first name was the same name as my brother and my dad. So that we were just like are we family? We weren't. Question number eight. What is the strangest food you have ever eaten? I ate caviar. No. Escargo. I ate escargo while I was on a cruise when I was a youngin, and all my friends were like, "Ew!" I don't remember actually what it tastes like, but it didn't taste bad enough for me to not eat it. Question number nine. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of fingers. Maybe I'll use my feet. Tell us about your first gig. If you mean paid gigs for myself, <laughs> I wish. I would love if I could play an instrument and people would pay me for that. But the first gig that I paid for was actually this year, and I went to see Flyleaf on tour with Drowning Pool. I never went with my parents to a gig because they're just not that kind of people. They don't do that. I, I don't know. I do, but I just, I just finally got some friends that like the same type of music that I do, so we were able to do this. It was nice. I liked it. Question number 10. What is your favorite place in the world? My favorite place would probably be Austria, the mountain area, and we stayed there a night when I went on my EF tours trip, and it was just so beautiful. Um, I just, I wish I could have stayed like there the whole week. It was just so pretty. Question 11. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Oh, uh, 
out. I don't have 11 fingers. Question 11. You have to do some addition now. Sorry, I don't have 11 fingers. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is, um, well not biggest, but my, I have a fear of spiders and mushrooms. I hate the filters on mushrooms. They're really scary and creepy. And of course spiders are just, why, why were they even made? They're just terrifying. Question number 12. Addition, don't forget. When did you find out that Santa was not real? Now, the first school that I went to were, they were like, don't allow your children to believe in fictional things. Like, they were against Harry Potter, Santa, you know, the Tooth Fairy, nothing, none of that. But my parents really were like, really, guys. So I believed in Santa, kind of, sort of, I don't really remember until the fourth grade. I don't know how old that was, but I kind of started leaving and I was kind of telling my parents this and my stepdad was like, you know if you don't believe in Santa, he's not going to give you any presents this year. So I wanted presents and I really was unsure about the whole do you believe in Santa thing and so I freaked out and wrote an apology note to Santa. But when I really stopped believing was actually just the year after that, between 5th and 6th grade, something like that. Question number 13, don't forget the addition. What is the best idea you've ever had? I think it would be this painting that I did, which let me go get that. So I think this painting would be one of the best ideas I've ever had. The reason behind that, this was my first painting that I didn't do as a part of class, that I did on my own. And for like me to get my inspiration and be able to like actually do it, it was amazing. I was really happy with this. Question number 14. What is the most embarrassing thing that your parents have done to you? I think I said that correctly. I'm too lazy to check. I can't really remember because I have a terrible memory, but but I think it's when I went to this Geek Squad camp. Now, first of all, I don't like being called a diva. It just, for me, has the wrong connotation. And we were called Digital Divas. And this was with a bunch of girls who were annoying because they were, I think all they were talking about was Big Time Rush, which I hate, and oh, and Justin Bieber, they were talking about him as well, and I'm just like, I'm good, I'm good, I don't want to hear about it. So I pretty much escaped most of the time and just spent time hanging with the friends that my brother made. Question number 15, if you had to choose one career for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would choose being a special effects makeup artist because that is my ideal career. It combines both like 2D art with 3D art and it's just so cool and that's just my dream job. It's like, and the last thing is, who would you tag? Who do you tag? Tag, tag, whatever. I tag everyone. Anyone who sees this, if they want to make a video, they can make one. But specifically, I want to tag, this is not Holly, Banana Jamana, and Obscure the Bird. So. Yeah, if they want to make them, they're probably not going to see this, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and also, they don't have to do the whole ultimate one. They can just do the last five, because that's the one from this year's YouTube survey. I shall see you guys next Tuesday. Bye! You can also check me out at Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. All the links will be in the description. And, you know, check out some of my previous videos. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye, guys. Subscribe to be notified when I make new videos, as I do that every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.